today we're diving into those people who just suck the life out of everything. You know the ones, right? They leave you feeling drained, doubting yourself, and wondering if the problem. Well, spoiler alert, you're not. Some people are straight up. And look, I'm all about second chances. But sometimes, for your own mental well-being, you gotta cut those cords. So buckle up, Buttercup, because today we're exposing the seven types of people you absolutely need to banish from your life. We're talking full-on ghosting, blocking, and never looking back. Let's do this. First up, we've got the puppet masters of the world, the manipulators. These toxic peeps twist situations, guilt trip you into doing what they want, and always make you feel like in the wrong. It's like their minds are a game of emotional chess. And guess what? You're always the pawn. Don't even try calling them out because they'll somehow spin it around, making feel bad for even questioning them. It's exhausting being around them. And honestly, who needs that kind of negativity? True friends empower you, not manipulate you. So if you spot someone pulling these shady moves, it's time to peace out. Next up, we've got the Pinocchio of the group, the chronic liar. These people could make up a story about how they invented the color blue and somehow make you believe it. They lie about big things, small things, things that don't even matter. It's like they're addicted to deception. The worst part is their lies always catch up to them and they often drag innocent people down with them. You start to question everything they say, wondering what's true and what's a fabrication. So if you've got a chronic liar in your life, it's time for a reality check. Block their number, unfollow them on social media, and walk away from the drama. Now let's talk about the kings and queens of self-obsession, the narcissists. These people are basically in love with their reflection. They crave attention, admiration, and will literally do anything to be the center of attention. Empathy, compassion, yeah, those words aren't even in their vocabulary. It's always about them, them, them. You'll find them name dropping, bragging about their accomplishments and constantly fishing for compliments. Dealing with a narcissist is like trying to have a conversation with a brick wall, pointless and exhausting. So save your breath and your sanity and walk away. Next up, we have red flags and bruises and recognizing the abuser. Okay, this next one is super serious and hits close to home for many people. We need to talk about abusers. Abuse comes in many forms, physical, emotional, verbal, even financial. It's about power and control, and abusers use these tactics to manipulate and diminish their victims. Physical abuse is often the easiest to recognize, but emotional and verbal abuse can be just as damaging, leaving invisible scars that take years to heal. Abusers are masters of disguise, often appearing charming and charismatic on the surface. They might even shower you with gifts and affection one minute, only to turn on you with insults and threats the next. If you're experiencing any form of abuse, please know that you're not alone. Reach out to a trusted friend, family member, or a helpline. There is help available, and you deserve to be safe and respected. Next up, we have the sting of betrayal. Have you ever had your heart ripped out and stomped on? That's what it feels like to be betrayed by someone you trust. Betrayers are like wolves in sheep's clothing, acting all friendly and trustworthy while secretly plotting against you. The worst part about betrayal is that it often comes from the people we least expect. Our closest friends, family members, even romantic partners. Rebuilding trust after a betrayal can be incredibly difficult, and sometimes it's just not worth the effort. If someone has shown you their true colors and betrayed your trust, it's okay to cut them loose and move on. The human vacuum, consumed by greed. Let's talk about greed, that insatiable hunger for more, more, more. Greedy people are like human vacuum cleaners, sucking up everything in their path, money, possessions, even opportunities, without any regard for others. 
They're driven by a constant need for more, always wanting what they don't have and never satisfied with what they do. Their greed can lead to unethical behavior, manipulation, and even exploitation as they step on anyone who gets in their way. Being around greedy people is exhausting and demoralizing. Remember, true wealth isn't about material possessions. It's about the richness of your relationships, your integrity, and your impact on the world. Distance yourself from those who prioritize possessions over people and focus on building meaningful connections based on generosity and compassion. Beyond Redemption, the unrepentant criminal. We're talking about people who have committed serious crimes, acts that have caused harm, pain, and suffering to others. While some criminals may genuinely seek redemption, there are those who remain unrepentant, showing no remorse for their actions. These individuals often lack empathy and disregard the impact of their crimes on their victims. It's essential to have compassion for all human beings, but it's also crucial to prioritize your safety and well-being. Sometimes the best course of action is to distance yourself from individuals who pose a threat to your safety or the safety of others. Protecting your peace. Whew, that was intense, right? But seriously guys, life is too short to waste on toxic people who drain your energy and bring you down. It's time to prioritize your mental health, set boundaries, and surround yourself with people who lift you up, inspire you, and make you feel good about yourself. Remember, cutting ties with toxic people isn't selfish. It's an act of self-love. You deserve to be happy, respected, and surrounded by love and positivity. Now, what if I told you that you could instantly tap into an incredibly powerful subconscious force that's right under your nose? Curious to learn more? Click the link in the description below this video to listen to the one minute prayer. This ancient wisdom can transform your life by manifesting wealth, abundance, and blessings. Don't wait. Take the first step towards a prosperous future now. I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. How have you encountered God's love in your life? Share your story and let's encourage each other to seek God's love daily. And if you're new here, consider subscribing for more daily devotionals that will inspire and encourage you to deepen your connection with Jesus. Until next time, stay fierce.